<laughs> These guys look like they're waiting for like Drake or someone big. Oh shoot it! Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your catcher and Yannicka, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some clips from my most recent trip to New York City. This video also features my sister, Dr. Beauty. Definitely check her out. I'll leave her links down below in the description. But first things first, if you're new to the channel, my name's Akechi and Yannicka. I'm an alto saxophonist, multi-instrumentalist, and performing artist from Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. And my goal on this channel is to become the next big music legend to make it out of the Philadelphia music scene. So I post vlogs, performances, concerts, song tutorials, covers, you name it. So if that interests you, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. All right, now let's get into this video. Looks like we just approached Cherry Hill Mall. I haven't been here since I was like, how old? Four? Dang, they got a North Face place too. Not that I care, but. <laughs> y'all can see but we just saw a tour van it's a tour bus right next to us that's empty that joint's empty maybe they're coming to pick up somebody yeah probably Yo, so my favorite part about road trips, we're about to go inside the tunnel. Let's go inside this tunnel. Oh wow. Here we go. This is so cool. Oh my god. It's like neon and everything. High person random car. <laughs> we are here, y'all. We are here. Look at this beautiful city. All that architecture and everything. It's gonna be a lit trip. Wow. Look at, let's see how tall that skyscraper is. Taller, taller, taller. Good. God dang. Damn! John's crazy. That's a taxi. Yo, it looks like a giant center city. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's a catch, yo, Yannicka. Got my sister with me. Back to beauty. We're currently out here in New York City. It's pretty crazy. This is my first time, like, really exploring this place. I've been to New York about three times. So we're about to head over to Times Square, and we're about to check that out to see what it's all about. They even have a Mama Sabah. This place is everything. Look at all these TV screens and everything, man. They got literally a million TV screens. No thank you, dog. So, we got a lot of stuff here. Did you just say South African? <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that all the way up there. That John is H&M. They got a giant H&M. Oh, yeah. Hey. So I see Good Morning America on my left hand side. I thought I'd do something spontaneous and just play, you know what I'm saying? Oh wow. We got Good Morning America over here. Y'all you know, see that? It's right over here. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
inside H&M. Look at this place. It's like, it's crazy. It's got three floors, y'all. This is the guys section. Woo! Okay. Let me show y'all the view. Like, look at that. This joint is crazy. It's nice leather. It's crazy. They got a lot of stuff here. I like the walls. Can I buy the walls? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's a kid section. Yeah. So, how do you get to the top? I guess you can. Uh, I guess it's just for show. Okay. To get people to come it. in. Yeah. So, we're about to go check out a different area. I'm about to play in a different spot. And we'll see how that goes. A few moments later. Not yet. Now it is. I don't think we're trying to sell a bus thing. 
no idea what they're trying to sell. These cats on the red, they've been trying to sell us stuff all day. I didn't see Rotimi's but I think they were on the other side. It probably was. Yeah. That's lit. So we're on our way to the Wax Museum. You've been to I the Wax to Museum. I went to Hollywood, yeah. Exactly. How was that? It was dope. Everyone looked like their picture except Beyonce. Beyonce did not look like the real one. Everyone else, like Will Smith, looked like the real Will Smith. It'd be lit if they had a Stevie Wonder one. At least I'd be halfway accomplished from my, you know, my milestone or whatever. Oh, he's playing Nas. So we're finally at the Wax Museum. It's really cool. <laughs> These guys look like they're waiting for like Drake or someone big. Oh shoot, it's not a real person. Yo! Yo, I thought you <laughs> Sure, I guess. I'm done. Oh shoot, I really thought that was someone. Okay.
good, y'all. We are currently at Central Park. We just got back from downtown. It was crazy. We're just chilling. We're about to head back to Philly. How'd you feel about the trip? I felt like it was really good. We really learned the subway system very quickly. The only thing that's confusing at first is seeing the map and all the winding routes. But once you know where you're going, it's not so bad. So I think that we really mastered the city and knowing our surroundings. I felt like this whole thing was like a video game. The people just seem like AI. They have like stock clothing and everything. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? They were really nice. I met some people from Brazil. One person, was she from like the UK or something? Yeah, she's from the UK and she lived here for the past 20 years. We met her in Central Park the other day. I feel like, obviously I haven't been to everywhere in New York, but like, it's a place where you gotta make your own opportunities. You know, it's not gonna come out to you. You just have to go out of your norm, step out of your comfort zone, and just make things happen in your life. One other thing I'll say is, you can do anything on a budget. And especially in New York, take public transportation, get smaller meals, you know, you can, you can try to find your way around things. You don't have to think of New York as a place where you're going to be spending an arm and a leg. If you really don't want to, you really don't have to. There's tons of free things to do, especially if you go to Times Square, you can go to Madame Tussauds Museum and they have a few statues outside that you can pose with even though you're not going inside. They have the Ripley's Believe It or Not building. They have several movie theaters and Broadway theaters. So there's a lot to see down there. And there's a lot of um, street performers too. And the Good Morning America news station. So you can make it a fun trip even if you're not paying for anything. So definitely try to maximize the free 99 stuff in any place that you go. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Dr. Beauty's YouTube channel. I'll leave everything down below in the description inside this video. Make sure to smash the like button, comment down below, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace!